Hey guys, Phil here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is my original OG <laughs> 1.0 Xbox. Now what I want to do today is I want to replace the two fans in this Xbox with some nice quiet Noctua fans. So if you stick around, I'll crack on with that. What I want to do now is talk a little bit about the fans I'm going to put in this version 1.0 uh, the first one is a GPU fan now because I have a 1.0 Xbox my Xbox has two fans um, it has the fan for the GPU and it has the fan the main exhaust fan for the system fan now if you have a Xbox 1.1 or above 1.6 uh, you won't have the GPU fan um, you'll just have one fan and that's the uh, exhaust main system fan but mine has two and the one I'm going to use for the GPU is this not to a one just here now both fans are 12 volt version fans you need the 12 volt version not the 5 volt version and both of them need to be the flex version uh, not the PWM version um, but like I said, if you've got a 1.1 or above, you only need one of them. And that's the main system fan. Now for the GPU, I'm going to be using this one, the NFA 4 times 10 And for the system fan, main system fan, I'm going to be using the NFA6 times 25 And also what you'll need is you'll need to print out some brackets to help you fit the fan. Um, but you can, if you don't have a... 3D printer, you can buy these off eBay. Uh, people sell these on eBay. I have a 3D printer, so I printed these myself. Uh, so yeah, these are the fans that are gonna be fitted into my Xbox. Remember, they both need to be the flex version and they both need to be the 12 volt versions. But like I said, if you have an Xbox 1.1 or above, you only need one of them, this one, uh, for the main system fan. But mine has two. Let's start stripping down this Xbox to get to the fans. Now to get inside the Xbox, you need a couple of Torx bits. Uh, the first one you're gonna need is a T10, and the second one you're gonna need is a T20.
and I've stripped the system down uh, to the fans I'll be able to remove the old fans now and replace them um, but first I want to talk a little bit about the version 1.0 Xbox which is what this is and as you can see uh, this has got a fan on the GPU now later revision Xboxes 1.1 upwards uh, they don't have this fan on the GPU all, all you'll have is the main system fan um, but if you're going to perform this mod I want to show you a problem uh, that you're running to because the Xbox doesn't run the system fan uh, at 12 volts it runs it at 6.5 volts so and then what it does is as it starts to heat up it gradually increases the voltage to the fan um, so it's a voltage controlled fan not a PWM fan um, but I want to show you the, the problem um, that you'll have if you're going to replace uh, these fans but you can get around it and I'll show you that as well now what I want to do now is show you the difference between the voltage going to the GPU fan in versions 1.0 and the system fan in Xboxes now if we take a look here what I've done is I've just used the fan splitter you can see I've just split uh, the actual connector into two one goes obviously to the GPU fan and the other one's going here and I've hooked it up to my multimeter and I'm going to measure the voltage coming out of it so I'm going to power on the system and you'll see if you look at my multimeter it's around about 12 volts right so from the moment you turn this system on to the moment you turn the system off 12 volts gets fed to this fan and what I'm going to do now is show you the difference between that and the system fan what I've done now is exactly the same but this time we're on the system fan connector just here you can see it we're splitting it again we're going to read the voltage going to the system fan so let me power on and you'll see the difference and there it is 6.5 volts and that's the problem if we're going to put a 12 volt not to a fan in there uh, running it at 6.5 volts uh, is not going to cut it um, let me power off because I don't want the system to run without any um, proper airflow going now the problem here is because this starts off at 6.5 volts and if we put a knock to a fan in there that's supposed to run at 12 volts it's barely going to move now the Xbox can control this fan the way it does it is it increases the voltage so the Xbox gets hotter it increases the voltage all the way up to 12 volts uh, but that's the problem it initially starts off at 6.5 volts and then goes up as the system heats up but because I have a 1.0 this one's on at 12 volts all the time so what I can do is I can tap into this use my splitter and run both the 12 volt fans from this connector here now like I said if you've got a later Xbox say a 1.1 upwards you're not going to have this here um, and this connector won't be on the board however the footprint for it is still on the board if you look at a, an Xbox 1.1 right the way up to a 1.5 the footprint for this connector is here so if you want to you can put a connector in there and then run those fans from that um, if you've got a 1.6 Xbox there's another way you do it and I'll show you that next now you may be asking how do I run the system fan the main system fan if I have a 1.6 uh, and there's no connector here for 12 volts well if you look in the Noctua packaging that came with the fan you'll get a splitter uh, and this is a Molex splitter just here uh, and what this does is it taps off the 12 volts uh, that's fed to the hard drive uh, so you can plug this into the hard drive side and obviously you're tapping into the 12 volts and as you can see it's just there a lot you can see it's there so what I'll do is I'll power on the Xbox and you'll see that 12 volt reading um, on my multimeter so yeah you can still tap into the 12 volts if you've got a 1.6 Xbox what I've got to do now is obviously remove the old fans now to remove this one this one's very easy there's four screws there's one here one here one here one here remove those take the fan off remove the clip you're done uh, this one's 
a little bit more tricky there's no screws holding this in it basically clips in you push down and it clips in and if you take a look there's a clip just here on this side and there's a clip just here on this side uh, now you need to be very careful on this side because obviously here's the power supply and if you put anything metal there you are risking it a little bit <laughs> so yeah just be careful but yeah they're not too difficult to get out so I'll get these two fans out uh, and then come back now that's both the GPU fan and the system fan removed what I want to do now uh, is just a bit of maintenance I'm going to remove these two heat sinks uh, the reason for that is I want to put some nice fresh uh, thermal compound under there because the stuff Microsoft put on there from the factory is just crap <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna whip off these heat sinks uh, and then put some nice new thermal compound on there that's the GPU and CPU heat sinks removed you can see them just here you can see the old thermal compound on them They're pretty crap what I'm gonna do now is just spend five minutes with a cotton bud I'm gonna clean off all the old thermal compound uh, and then same with the heat sinks I'll clean it off there and we'll put some nice fresh new MX4 on there and then put the heat sinks back on that's the old thermal compound removed from the GPU and the CPU I've also removed it from the heat sinks what I'm going to do now is put some new thermal compound on there MX4 and yeah, that should be better than the stuff Microsoft put on. <laughs> Got the MX4 thermal compound on there. Time to put the heat sinks back on. And as you can see, that's the heat sinks back on there with new thermal compound on there. It should be better than the stuff Microsoft put on there, which to be honest is crap. So yeah, what I've got to do now is install the fans. I've installed both the mounting brackets for the GPU fan and the system fan. Let's get them in the Xbox. And as you can see, our fans are in. What I'm going to do now is power on the Xbox. Do we get fan spin? Uh, both of them are spinning. And the system's booting. So yeah, there you go guys, successful not to a fan upgrade, I'll power off the Xbox because it's going to time out because obviously there's no hard drive or CD-ROM connected. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spend five minutes tidying up these wires and I'll get this all back together. But yeah, that's a successful not to a fan upgrade. It should be silent now. And run cooler because these things are 12 volts all the time. Winner, winner. <laughs> and there we go. One little cable tie, and it's all nice and neat. 12 volts from this connector just here. You've got a splitter and splits it to both fans. So, yeah, there you go. Let's get this Xbox back together again. Now before I button up this Xbox, I just want to show you where you can tap into the 12 volts. Um, obviously if you've got a 1.6 Xbox, here's what you use, you just use this and then you obviously intercept the 12 volts. That's going to the hard drive and then you've got your tail there for the system fan. And as you can see, we're all back together, so let's power on the Xbox and it should boot Evolution X dashboard and I can already tell uh, it's quieter than it was before and there we go Evolution X dashboard so yeah there you go guys not to a fun upgrade so yeah I hope they liked the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Winner, winner. <laughs> catch you next time, guys.